And a young man, a young private named Eric Brown would put the tourniquets on my legs, a fact that the doctors say saved my life. Well, why do I bring up this young man? Well, Private Brown, four months earlier, was a chemical specialist in my unit. He was responsible for taking care of the nuclear, biological, and chemical equipment in the organization. As fate would have it, my medic that was assigned to my personal security detachment had slipped on some ice and broke his ankle and couldn't deploy with us. And when we asked the Army to provide us a replacement medic, they just didn't have any to provide. My headquarters first sergeant recommended sending Private Brown to a two-week, a two-week emergency medical training course at Kansas State University. And that young man would finish just days before we were deployed. Well, when he finished, they came, my leadership came back to me and said, uh, sir, what we'd like to do is we'd like to put Brown in one of the subordinate elements and uh, we'll bring up a medic for you. And I said, no. I said, uh, first of all, it was important that the teams were set and I didn't want to create any, uh, any turmoil in any other teams. But more importantly, I understood that if Brown was good enough for them, Brown was good enough for me. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you this story not because I did anything heroic, because I didn't. But that night, I went through nearly 130 units of blood. The average human holds between six and eight pints. But it's about living up to the standards. It's about doing what is right. And so nearly 15 years later, after going into combat my first time and not being prepared, not having my soldiers prepared to live up to the standard, that one of my soldiers would live up to the standard and save my life. That's what this business is about. That's what this profession is about. We don't, many of us don't get second chances. And what I want to tell you, young leaders, is that you don't ever want to look back and say, I wish I had done better. You're not going to be perfect. But every day you have an opportunity to be the best you can be, to live up to your potential. And do you take that opportunity to live up that, to that standard? Or do you take the easy road? You're going to have opportunities every day to take the easy road. I just want you to remember that they have consequences. You may not think it. You may not think that you're in a job that has anybody's life at stake. But I can tell you in this, in the, in this profession, on a moment's notice, that you can be moved from point A to point B and you can be put in that situation. And are you prepared? Have you lived up to what you can be so that you can take care of our nation's most precious asset, the men and women who raise their right hand and decide to serve our nation?